All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Infected Shelter. It's a uh, beat em up roguelike. That's pretty much all I know about it. Uh, let's quickly bop through some of these. I don't know what the volume is going to be like, so I'm going to. Well. Volume. There we go. It's not muted. Is it just like. Is this actually one of the quietest games that I've ever heard when we start? That's interesting. Most games blast out my eardrums, but this game isn't. I was gonna, I was gonna turn it down preemptively, but no, it was just quiet. Press A to join. New save file, yes. So I can be Rebecca Evans, the guitarist girl. You don't have any special traits? Nancy Wil Wilson or Samantha Collins. Or we can be Helen and Brian Smith, grandpa and granddaughter. I see, so these are just, the names are just recolors. Patrick Myers, not available in this build. Or Jack Campbell. Welp, uh... Mer America, what the hell? Hey, come here. Find those Mad Max, uh, Mad Men who kidnapped our people. Collect information, uh, infection samples. Bring me the blueprints you find. In exchange, will procure better equipment for you. Go now, you're our last hope. Or next to last. Be careful outside the camp. Go now. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, so this is bizarre. Talk to me o only if you want to skip the tutorial. No, thank you. So we have jump. How do you manage that? Block and dodge roll. Okay, pick up item, previous item. Okay, we get a donut, a pear, a pear, and some other things. How do we attack? So inventory pages. I don't know what that was. Show or hide inventory. Okay, single use weapons. Weapon, clothing, striped sailor, crit chance, luck, ice resistance, and vulnerability after drinking a bottle of... Oh, they have different gear. Wheelchair of our hero. Oh, I see. It's a weapon. Unarmed damage, skill recharge, sp speed, low wind resistance, run speed plus 20%. Ha. Huh. Okay, how do we switch items again? Ah. So that's how I switch between them. We have an unknown drink. X and Y. I... Wow. This is... I don't even know how to describe this necessarily. <laughs> I I really don't. This is baffling. I mean... It's a good thing... What is that? Oh. I just had the dude's head that I can chuck around. I... Ow. 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 Well, that didn't... I... Holy crap, Grandpa! Check that off into the universe. This game... This game is confusing. Okay, so we've got a gun. I'm assuming... Nope, I just have a gun. And a blueprint. Okay, smoke damage up. Are you Bert? Nope. Do we have limited ammo? It doesn't seem seem like it. Oh. Oh no. Do not chuck gun. Gun is only gun is our only friend. Ah. Well, okay, so the gun does run out of Okay, I just swung grandpa for a finishing I This I am I am speechless. Oh, those are those are actually like allies. Maybe? No, they're not. Ow. Wow. Drink it, Grandpa. Beat him up. <laughs> Get him, Grandpa. This lady is hella strong. She just pick up her Grandpa and just, like, go to town on people with them. I almost kind of wish she was just wielding Grandpa from the get-go. Oh. Why don't we grab that and some more of these things? But, uh, this is... I'm not even going to say it's tongue-in-cheek ne necessarily, but, uh... This is special. Ow. 
Ow. Are these guys just sitting here? Oh, I see. They're just stunned forever. Wow. There's just a kill animation for everything, apparently. Who are these people? Did I just... Did I just get droned? I... <laughs> Why is anything... Okay, uh, we should probably use the first aid kit. I've forgotten how to do so. It's not Y. It's not A. Ah, there we go. Left trigger. Alright, well, let's just grab random junk. Animal trainer, and we get a rocket launch... <laughs> what? Any of this? Okay, so... Blood bag. Regenerates health when below 30 HP. Passive. Whenever we use a drink, heal 5. Melee weapon durability. Passive. Owners enters an area where there's a boss. Heal 100 HP. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't actually have enough for that stuff. What is this? Unarmed damage plus 1. Frequently shoots an acid sting. Passive. Let's grab the bee. I, I guess I just have a bee friend now. Am I enjoying this? I am speechless, but yeah, it's actually not terrible. Like, externally, if I had realized what this was, I, ow. I think I might have had questions. But as it stands, it's like, not, kind of works out in some like weird, bizarro way. Like, gameplay-wise, it's not terrible. It kind of reminds me of Ma Rampage Knights, but, like, even more ridiculous. Oh, have I been picking up, like, passive benefits this entire time? I might have, actually. Can I, can I check? So, weapon unarmed, clothing, wheelchair. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Skills. Oh. Vulnerable spirit. I gotta figure out how to use these. Enemy is vulnerable for 10 seconds, and I also have arrows range from the sky. Or rain from the sky. Yeah, pendants, here we go. So, skill recharge speed, unarmed damage, and luck. Looks like you can also just get rid of them. Get out of here. Oh, full flaming barrel. Wow. Okay. Now, is there are there goodies in any of these things? Because I actually haven't been terribly thorough. Okay. That dude just puked on me. Ah. But yeah, it very much reminds me of... Okay. I do not know how to use my skills. Unknown drink. Drink it up, Grandpa. Oh. Ah! That's a big pig. That's a bad pig. Let... Let things go. Ammo. Oh, nope. I thought we were killing the pig. We were not killing the pig. Okay. There we go. It's working out. Like, it's it's dumb as shit, but it's it's not bad. Unknown drinks or a pear. Okay, it looks like the drinks aren't necessarily that bad for you. They probably are, but still. But like, I haven't I have a hard time taking this game seriously. And let's see. Call an ally buddy to fight against your enemies. Cool. How do I use skills? Options, controls. Okay, because there's definitely skills that I can do. Um keyboard mouse controller. Use items. Skill one. Oh, I probably do like right bumper. Ah, right bumper and then X or Y or whatever. But yeah, this is. Nope. Come here. Have you uh, have you found new blueprints? Show me. Okay. So smoke damage up. After you unlock an improvement blueprint, you'll have the advantages of the improvement during your runs. Bladesmith. Animal trainer. So I guess we have to look at those. So preserves up to twenty golden bad badges when you die. 
Extra HP to... Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, and we can spend infection samples to level it up. Or unlock it. Okay. Let's look around. All your smoke damage. All melee weapon durability. Pets attack twice as fast. Well, honestly, we can get a lot of these. We can even unlock more weapons, more outfits, or skip. Ah. Oh. Well, we might as well grab golden badge savings. And let's grab pets attack faster. Okay, be careful outside the camp. Oh, right, Healy thing. We talk to the chief. Prepared, let's go. Meet up at the rally point. All right. Oh, are you? What? I... How do you expect me to deal with this? I mean, obviously, I, I will be suspiciously fine somehow. But, like... Honest to God, goodness question. What? I... Okay. Oh. Wait, is that... No, that's not actually, like, a solid snake type character. What? Ah! Oh, one of them has a flamethrower. Okay. So we, we're not actually beating... Ow. Let's drink up. Okay. Arrows. There we go. And I do heal from uh, finishing moves. Which is good. I desperately need them. I would like to max that perk out. Get away from me. So... But uh, shit, is any of this? Summon a buddy. Dang it. No! You killed friend man! Why? Those missiles should not do that. Unknown drink. Other unknown drink. Other no unknown drink. Okay, we're maximum buzz. Get him, Turbo Grandpa. Okay, we get more of that. Alright, stay out of the way. Okay. Unfortunately, pistols just... You bupkis damage. Arrows. So what else do I have? Saw blade? Oh. Nope. On cooldown. Oh! We've just left saw blades on the ground. At did we die? Yep, we died. Okay. This is a thing. Water, you just ate a missile and blocked it off. Yes! Apparently. Ah. Uh. Well, alright. So, we can't play either of those guys, so I guess let's do Guitarist Girl next. We don't have any traits. Def oh, disabled until you beat a boss. Well, that's gonna be rough. Okay, so... It might be easier without having to swing Grandpa around. We definitely seem a little bit like quicker pun. <sighs> Terrible at timing it. We have significantly less health, but yeah, we seem to be doing a fair bit of bleed damage here. There we go. Stab him right through. Okay. So we get a gun. Punch this. I. Is that a... I think that's some kind of drone move. Wait. Pendant of the Elders. Uh... Oh, well, there goes my... There goes my meteors. 
I was gonna use that. Yeah, Chopper was absolutely the boss. Bam. I'm just gonna pop those abilities often, if I can. Get my HP back, cause ow. No. I have gone. Ow. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Ow. Wow. They turn around fast. Like, we were having a great time with Grandpa and what's her face? Damn it. I'm trying really hard to get them to get stunned, but it's not working in my favor. I get a donut. I get an elite fighter. A different outfit. We'll grab the cleaver. Oh, can I go in here? I can. It's a shop. Hello. Admittedly, I'm dying, so... Well, we might as well grab the regenerates health when damaged, because I am dying otherwise. See, I guess I'll increase my melee damage. Not that it's going to help me that much. Okay. I guess healing when I drink a drink might not have been a bad idea either. Okay, so we have Orange Weston, Western versus Blue Fish. Eh. I don't know if there's much of... There's probably a notable difference between the two, but... Eh. Ow! Shoot! They they have drones that they can just summon. Right, let's try her again. I feel like I, I got dealt a bad hand because I wasn't doing things right. Oh, and good. We do get we do get yeah. We do get to keep our, our drones. Our drones are blueprints. Okay, so let's try that again. Less goofing around though. Cause yeah, I took a lot of immediate damage right right from the outset, and that wasn't great. Oh. Oh, really? Wow. This is like super self parky. Oh, that's interesting. The last one had. I must be a, a different one of them. I, I keep trying to get the finishers. I guess I gotta remember I can also hit them with my guitar. But yeah, I keep trying to get the finishers so I can get. Uh, so I can get the. Bonuses. Whoops. I know what's up with those birds. Wow, that didn't work. The birds are concerning. Excuse me. Any of you want to get stunned so I can get heals? There we go. That's it. Well, what's the durability on my weapon? I don't even know where that's listed, actually. I'm just going to assume I'll find it later. Crystal of Exploration. Let's see, where's Wander pulling these games from? Is there like a Humble Bundle? Nope, these are games that just show up in my, my, uh... Let's, see. Let's grab that so we can blast our skills. When you're knocked down, ally players game protection. Well, that's not helpful. I play alone. No, these are games that just show up in my inbox and I'm just like, I don't know, let's play them. Okay, what do I have? I've got buddy. Fight them, friend man. Whoops. Wow, did we just not hit anybody with that? We must have. At least friend man's not getting, uh... Wow. At least friend man's not getting... Oh, did I, did I actually get... Yeah, I did get hit by the fart. That is dumb. Meat cleaver. Sure, I'll take it. And random drinks. Uh... But yeah, random games that show up in my inbox constantly. I... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Well, bonus luck is always appreciated. Like, you gotta realize, I'm a, pu I'm a fairly public-facing YouTuber at this point. Uh, as one of the only ones that just plays random in indie games. Most larger ones only play games kind of within their, like... Within their, like, specific genre, I guess. 
and you get you you know you get a lot of like Fortnite YouTubers, you get a lot of Minecraft U YouTubers, and they might like play something as like a sponsored series or like if it really interests them or something like that. I, on the other hand, specifically, I'm trying to play like every interesting game that just shows up in my uh, in my inbox because it interests me, obviously, and it's fun. And who knows? Okay, so what do we get? For every bloody footstep, Arno heals 1 HP, passive. Skill recharge speed, critical chance, regenerates HP. It'd be kind of nice if that's stacked. Attacks nearby enemies with an electric pulse. Extra damage when the hero's at full HP. Do the bloodstone. I feel like the bloodstone is the most immediately useful. And then skill recharge speed. Not that that's amazingly helpful, I don't know. Ooh, Molotov? Let's take the Molotov with us. That sounds fun. I'm gonna burn myself with it, but that's okay. Okay. So rubber gloves. Oh, right. It's just gonna tell me I have these things. So increase your bleed damage, smoke damage, durability. What's this? Damage versus elites, 5%. Is there more than this? Oh, there's rubber gloves. Oh, these are relics. So, acid resistance. Passive. Owner, owner enters an area where their enemies heals 8, 8 HP. We want to grab this one. Honestly, let's just grab relics as I go by. Uh, let's see. Do you, yeah, let's increase the bleed damage. Because one, one of the guitar girls has bleed damage as just base default. Buffing that might not be a bad move. Oh, and we actually just get them. Well, that's awesome. So the other thing is, I'm just going to put a little some points into Bladesmith. So is this a roguelike? Yep, with pretty hefty meta progression, but absolutely just a roguelike. Mutant Bison. Well, let's see if it's better or worse than the Attack Chopper. Well, it's on fire and farting. It's on fart. Ow. Well, that's... Ow. This guy's just kind of mean. Let's see. I guess, honestly, I just need to remember to roll. Okay, so he's got piggies. And a dog. Ow. Damn it. Okay, got him for a decent chunk of damage. Get a little bit of healing from that. Grab the gun, roll. Okay, he didn't like whatever that was. Oh right, there's a jump in this game. Save me, gun! Okay. Save me, friend. Save me, eagle. Wow, they more or less took that animation from uh, from Castle Crashers, I realize. Oh, boy. Ow. Well, at least it does... Oh, loads of damage. Do I get another gun here? Yeah. Okay. Roll up. Rolling up is not this game's strong suit. Okay. Eagle. It's dead. Vanquished. I killed the boss. Well, I didn't kill the boss. My eagle did. But you know what? Good on you, eagle. And Punk Rocker is a blueprint clothing. I don't know. Whatever. Bend of nature. And... 
Bamo. We also get pink bear. Sure. Some fried duck. Hell yeah, let's just eat that immediately. Drops an array of buzz saws. Yes. And a music block. Music box. Not blocks. What am I saying? I am weird and busted. I don't know. Anyway, do we got some blueprints? We always have blueprints. So punk rocker. Music box. So these are improvements. We might as well finish this off. What's punk rocker get me? Extra luck, extra poison resistance. We might as well grab music box as well. He's gonna drop music box. Oh, I see. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the friend man. You know, he's at best a good distraction and that's about it. That bleed damage is pretty damn sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to be reliant largely on my skills. Ah, damn it. Because the eagle seems to charge pretty quick. Grab the shotgun. What other foes do we have? Whoop, damn it. Get them eagles. Yeah, those big guys seem just kind of frustratingly like not stun lockable. I guess I really just have to combo them first. Okay, what do I have? Nothing for a bit. Bammo. You really think the taser would stop them from doing that? That didn't work. That's okay. Bango. Well, for the most part, I'm 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 learning the ropes here. It's a little it's a little awkward at times. But I gotta give credit where credit is due. It's inventive. There there's kind of some fun things that you can play around with here. The skill system seems to really kind of improve a lot. Like originally, just like the the basic beat em up feels kind of lame. Okay. But yeah, finding a bunch of skills to like chain combo together in interesting ways feels really good. It bugs me a little bit that there's all these like kind of weird random people that we're fighting uh, next to other zombies. Like you'd think to some small degree, they'd be the zombies and everybody else would be fighting each other constantly. I, I don't know. I, I'm just in this like perpetual state of just like, what? Okay. Ow. Get a little bit of HP back. Thank you, eagles. Yeah, unfortunately, it also feels like a lot of the enemies are just kind of... They don't... Some stun lock. And some just don't seem to care. And, like, they'll just turn around on you, which is annoying. Because it, it kind of uh, invalidates the use of a, uh, a dodge roll half the time the enemy just like immediately just turns around and hits you before you can dodge again. And it's like, mmm, mmm. I feel, I feel like they should be locked until they're done with their attack animation. Or you just get rid of the dodge roll and just buff player-like resistances or something. I guess what I should remember to do is... A lot of things. I wonder if jumping might actually straight up work better. Oh, 
else do I got? Lightning. Eagles again. And the eagles work really damn good. Ow. And a booze. Oh. Ow. Wow. And yeah, why are these people trying to kill you? I'm honestly not sure. It, it it more or less just feels like they give you just like a whole slew of enemies just for the sake of here's something to fight. So mediocre action here. Fire arms have five times ammo but less max HP. Huh. I don't know if mediocre action here is what I want. I'm going to go with it anyway. Oh boy. I don't know if that's worth it. Mainly because the guns in this game feel really underwhelming. Like, you shoot an enemy and they just kind of, like, shrug it off. Once in every run, you can get a free relic from the chief. Sure. As we'll always get that. And I can't really change, change my character. Well, that's fine. I think I have a general idea for this game. It's neat. I would like to see more, but probably later. I, I want to see the, uh, the like, moment to moment, like, finely tuned a little bit. Because it really does feel like I will roll and then immediately just get kind of hit on the other side of it. Because uh, there's, it, instead of having interesting enemies to fight, they just kind of send a bunch at you. The bosses stand out because they tend to be the most interesting, at least having, you know, fun patterns and stuff to kind of work around. Um... Uh, but most of the regular fights are just like, here's a bunch of dudes that are just going to charge at you constantly, and you kind of roll out of the way and kite them for a while. And, like, it would be nice to have, like, uh, Castle Crashers level of, like, actually, you know what? I haven't tested that. I probably should. Okay, we've already seen that. Okay. Oh. Op oh. Oh. Regenerate HP slowly, but 40% less max HP. So different characters actually have different things. Wait. Which is the character with the... Oh, weird. Okay, so we have skills here. Wait, they're randomly generated too. Oh, probably based on outfit. Let's try this one. Okay. So maybe those are other characters. Okay. I want to just check one other thing. Well, that didn't work. Nope. Okay. So there are... I, I will give this credit. There are actual air combos... Uh, that are actually, like, kind of worth something. Let's go a little bit more. Um, honestly, this character... Do I know? Man, that is actually really slow. Originally, I was like, ah, this isn't so bad. This character actually regens HP pretty quickly. Uh, but no, it's actually pretty slow. You could probably regen kind of through gameplay. Wow. Wow. But yeah, I I guess it really, it feels like they're using a, a Castle Crasher style of, like, gameplay. But it lacks that certain level of, like, tightness that I, I really enjoyed from Castle Crashers. And there were moments where I, well, he is just dead. There were moments I, I remember from, like, well, Castle Crashers and Rampage Knights and whatever that felt, like, really floaty and, yeah. But I think for this one, it's... Like, I just hit that gorilla with the chainsaw to the face, and it just didn't give a shit. Oh, that's neat. You actually... So, the real trick is actually to fight things in the air, because you kind of auto-home in on them a little bit. And it really... All, I, I guess maybe that's part of it. Oh. I guess I'll just do that. Weapons, I think, just kind of suck in this game. Maybe you have to get more upgrades. Um... But, like, when I hit an enemy with a chainsaw, they just kind of just... They don't even notice. It's a gor gorilla. Oh, wow. That's... That's something. 
but conversely, it seems like going in there and just, like, wailing on them with my fists seems to work incredibly well. Okay, what are what are my skills? I like the idea of that lightning strike, and it does do a lot of damage sometimes. And I do really like the improvements. Like, the meta progression seems like it'll wildly offset any level of difficulty. It's just a bit of a slog getting up there, and a lot of them initially seem like, why do I even need this thing? Oh, no, I probably do need it. I'm just not taking it as serious as I could be. But like, fun as a beat em up. Definitely, probably more fun with friends. As a solo, as a solo player. Oh, is that a character for me to unlock? Might be. Okay. Yeah, these things especially are kind of obnoxious. Because they just don't care. But they're also worth, like, a fair bit of infection for some reason. What's up with this guy? Help me. Hey! Okay, there, there we go. So we get Black Rebel. Invincibility for two seconds after using a skill. That might actually be really handy. And Music Box again. What else do we got? X enemies. Regen. Boss. Fried Duck to heal. HP is below 50%. Heal up. Crit chance. Grab the cat. Grab Crystal of Exploration. Let's grab the rubber gloves. We'll go from there. But yeah, I bet having, uh, playing this with, like, a bunch of other friends in the same room as you, I bet that would actually be pretty solid. Because I think you can revive each other and whatnot. It's always less fun when you're, you're alone. Okay, so damage versus military units by 5%. Uh, am I doing ice damage? I think I might be doing ice damage. Alternatively, we can grab the bear trap. I'm gonna grab the bear trap. That seems like it might be useful. Okay, is it boss time? It is boss time. Yeah, like I was saying, the boss's walker droid. The bosses by far seem like the most interesting thing in the game so far. They're... They stand out, they have interesting effects. Yeah, this guy's gonna wreck me. Oh, yep. Died from the status effects. They're also a little bit, uh, merciless. Also, I uh, will also admit. But yeah, so... I like where they're going with it. The meta progression seems pretty fun. Did I- did I unlock a guy, or... No, it's this guy here. So what do you do? Name's Roy. Weapon addict. Oh, I see. So I just get to start with a... I, start, I get to start with a weapon. That's how this works. That's kind of okay. But yeah, as far as a meta progression system goes, I think that might actually be the strongest part of this. Like, you know, everything, every run doesn't feel wasted at the very least. I'm supposed to get a free relic. Yeah, I don't know where that happens. Unless I get to just, like, ask him for it. Oh, get one free relic. So I can just come with, uh, start with one of these. So, yeah, battery is kind of the standout as far as I'm concerned. What's the, uh, boot? 90% of all floor trap damage. Passive. That wouldn't be bad. Anyway. Neat game. Wouldn't mind seeing more of it, like, 1.0, or if I have a bunch of friends that are down for it. Like, kind of after playing Castle Crashers and stuff. But for now, I think I'm gonna let it, let it cook a little while longer. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Infected Shelter. Whenever that happens. And as always, thanks for watching.